I'm Todd Hodden with Accuracy First, and we're on the range today, and we're going to talk about twist rates and even twist directions. So most of us all shoot a right-hand twist. The only time that we play with left-hand twist, as far as I'm concerned, is when we're actually checking the actual spin drift. So we'll shoot at the same time with right and left and see exactly what it really is. But when we're looking at uh, spin drift, and this is something that we get from twist rates, the bigger component to me is how well the bullet flies and fights off transonic shockwaves. So spin drift is just, just a component of twist rate. So we're going to get a certain amount of spin. The faster you spin it, the more that you're going to get. But what we're looking at really when we're talking about twist rates is how stable the bullet is. So when you get a stability factor of two in something like the Green Hill formula or the Miller formula, what we're looking at is making sure the bullet's going to be stable out to transonic flight. So when we're looking at true stability, it, we're trying to figure out how much twist that we can impart on the bullet to make it fly through transonic shock waves and maintain good stability at any range. So a faster twist rate is actually much better than some of the slower twist rates that we get from the Green Hill and the Miller.